Test one, test one. And what I'll do when I'm done is I'll delete those saves so I get my teams back. But I know it's just a game, but I feel really weird cutting Tannehill and tomorrow. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. Well, that was it's a good start. It shows Levis in the Madden in the New Orleans rival Saints, thing. So maybe that comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at the Venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gunn joined by Charles Davis here at the Superdome. But Charles, these Saints, after a good run from 2017 to 2020, they kind of been middle of the pack the last couple of years, seven and 10 a season ago. What's their recipe for turning things around? I think continuing the short passing game that they're known okay, for. I don't see a 41. The playmakers can make some short passes. They get it right this time. Longer plays. And then on defense, continuing to pressure quarterbacks in the pocket. They tend to get after them pretty hard. Meanwhile, the Titans last year, they were one of those strange statistical anomalies, CD. When you look at their defense, they were the best in football, number one overall against the run, but worst in the league, number 32 against the pass. And part of the reason they were number one against the run, the struggles they had slowing people down through the air, so people threw it and threw it and threw it and had great success. And a team that should have been in the playoffs last year somehow managed to miss it. Caleb Shudak has his teed up, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from the Superdome. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Saints. What the fuck? He looked away and Saints scored on the kickoff. Because I think for a team that just scored their defense, I think they'll be more aggressive now. They'll be bolder. They're playing with a lead and an early one in some momentum. So if you're the offensive coordinator on the other side of the field, you better be prepared for some heavy pressure coming your way. They're going to try and get another big score and a big one early. Will Lutz on for the point after. good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. They'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. As if this motivated young man needed an extra chip on his shoulder. He certainly got one more when he slipped to the second round of this year's draft. This, after he was discussed, is a possible top five pick. As he likes to tell everyone, I've got a cannon for an arm, and I'd love to show it off. Levis will look to throw on the first play from scrimmage. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much. 
much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Levis throwing again on second down. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. <laughs> Picked yep. up by the linebacker Demario Davis. And they have the football and we'll take the second pass at the 24 yard line. Time will tell if that's an interception. Right, so that let me was see. the rookie out of the game. first drive on the road. And you know the discussion going into the game? Centered on, okay, let's get out nice and easy. Take care of the football. Because if this works, I'm going to do now a youngster. Let's not make mistakes Ooh, early. Plays but better now the conversation will shift to, okay. Put it behind you. And then I may go on. back and do Tampa. Like way to go on this one. And I'll wait. That's what it is, baby. Let's go do this thing, baby. Let's go, let's go. Oh, They'll fake the jet sweep, but instead of give up the middle to Williams. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Now Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. But man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way. Instead, it's fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes Saints kicker Will Lutz. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. And from the end zone, here's Julius Chestnut. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Levis now on second down. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike, and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Well, they go play action. Here's Levis. 
The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 41. The NFL's second leading rusher in 2022. Here's Derrick Henry. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. But you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Draw play. This is Henry. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you got the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a couple extra views here in the booth, and he did get it, but not by much. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. First down, Titans gain of 12. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. A first down carry for Henry. Shoves him aside. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run it again with Henry. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Henry is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time, second and goal. You get down in this area of the field, you know you're going to get a heavy dose of number 22. They stopped him for a short game there, but can they do it a couple more times? So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry, and he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Third and goal. Here's Levis. Flush to his right. They'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. And no move to take the offense on the field. They're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth and goal. They hand off to their big tight end. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Travon Wesco. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Titans' decision to go for it pays off with six points.
Well, they just put a little sizzle in their stake there. First quarter, fourth and goal, running in. A boost. I think they showed confidence in their defense by going for it. That's telling their defense, look, we counting on you. we're counting on you guys, and we know that we believe in you because we go for it here, even if we don't get it, get field position on our side, and you'll stop them. Instead, they put it in the end zone and tally up six points. So then after the main field goal, Shudak back out to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. Again. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Here's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Now the Saints' third-round pick back in April. It's Kendra Miller. And yeah, he'll get about three up close to the 35. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw its car. And this is going to be incomplete. Not much happening offensively here early on. That's two drives. And zero first downs. This defense, they've come to play, and they're the better of the two units here so far. The Saints going to send out Blake Gillikin to punt on fourth down here. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15 yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Titans will be backed up deep to begin the drive as they take over first and 10. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 21, here's a second and four. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Levis now on first and 10. It's complete. This is Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. So, Charles, you know, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit because in college he's seen a lot of things let's, let's not get it wrong here but at the same time the NFL you can do so much more because of the athletes you have because of their football IQ 
And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. First down, Titans gain of 12. Another powerful run and another workhorse season in the books for Henry. Let's take a peek at his numbers. He's led the NFL in carries and top 1,500 yards for the third time in four years. In addition, fifth straight year with double-digit touchdowns. First and 10, it's Levis. That's caught by his tight end, Travon Wesco. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And Henry gets the call there on first down as he pushes his way forward, a pickup of about five. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Here's second and five now from the 22. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. Levis to throw on first and ten here. And it's a Titans touchdown. Chigakonkwo. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have taken the lead. Now Shudak for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a Tennessee score. So here's Shudak following the touchdown, back out to kick off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing. And for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. Carr going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10, right at the 30. He'll hand this to Williams to start things out. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Williams going to get it again on second down. Seven yards there and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. On first down, Carr. Pass complete. Finds Thomas going across the middle. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports.
Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Now Carr. Throwing for Smith on the other line, and it's caught. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 16 yards to the 16 and the first down. Now how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Alave holds it in. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it. And he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Carr. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. The kick by Lutz is good. And the lead is down to 1 now at 14-13. So the margin shrinks a bit as back-to-back -back drives here for him in with field goals. Yeah, we know no one's turning down three, especially in the first half, but you've got to finish these drives in the end zone. That's got to be a priority. Nice to have a reliable kicker, but outside of his agent, you know you'd rather him kick one-pointers instead of three-pointers. to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And we spotlight Derrick Henry now. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. First and 10, here's Levis. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Looking for trailing Burks that time, but it's going to be second down. Back to the air on second down, Levis. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. Levis on third down. Flushed out right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Call it a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. Great play by Brazil and someone you were very happy to see get picked in the first day of the draft with all he's been through. Overcame so much during his career at Clemson. Without a doubt, his best ball is still ahead of him. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. 
And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They begin the drive with Williams. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Good, strong run by Williams. And who had him eclipsing the great Barry Sanders in 2022? He set a new Lions franchise record and led the NFL with 17 rushing touchdowns. Also had his first career 1,000-yard season and earned a nice free agent contract from the Saints. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, Williams. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 38. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he's going to have a Saints first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. The Carter's throw caught by Alave. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. The kick by Lutz is good, and they have regained the lead. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, he's still been able to come away with points due to his leg. here down to a knee and this drive will start at the 25. Derrick Henry trots back out there and gets ready to go. They're behind in the first half here CD but it's not to any fault of their running back he's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that partner because watching him play you would think that his team is in the lead he has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. On first down, Levis. Escaping the pressure right. There he goes, right side. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. 
They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there. No hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Running left, it's Henry. That's a strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 98 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Henry up the middle. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. That's to Burks, and he's got it. Touchdown, Tennessee. From 19 yards away. And the Titans have retaken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now shoot act for the extra point. He's got it, and it's now a 21-16 lead. Five plays there on that drive. And it was Traylon Burks capping things off with a touchdown catch. out his shoe deck here as he'll send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42. Great return. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They begin with a run by Miller. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Sean Murphy Bunning got him down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle, and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Okay. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and eight. From the gun, it's Carr. Escapes the sack, and now he's swallowed up and taken down. Credit the sack there to Arden Key. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. <laughs> Trying to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Oh, 
Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. There's a nice move. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 112 yards on the ground now for Henry. He's got a first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out of that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. A second down throw from Levis. A short throw taken in by Conquo. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Inside handoff, Henry. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Second down, they go again with Henry. He stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Levis on third and one. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Phillips. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now Levis. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. The Titans efficient passing on this drive. There's another first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Levis. Touchdown! Chigakakuo with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they're able to add on to their advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes, you're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point up and good by Shudak, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Six, 
So then after the main field goal, Shudak back out to kick it away. All the you all right, babe? Rashid Shahid. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. On first and 10, here's Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know? <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Crossing right catch made by Johnson. 17 there in a New Orleans first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. First down. They set up the screen to Moore. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Carr signaling to his guys, let's go, let's go here. Back to throw again. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Carr. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Blake Gillikin now. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And this will be taken at the 13. It's a 45-yard putt, six yards on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So we reach halftime here with the visiting Titans taking the lead into intermission. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Titans hold the lead and they'll get the football first as the third quarter gets underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 24 now, here's the second and nine. Levis to throw off play action. This one downfield to Burks. It's a gain of 34. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Levis looking to throw. Got his man, Akonkwo. Had the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Levis to throw on first and 10 here. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. 23 yards on the play. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Levis back to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. A handoff running left. Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? In the end zone, touchdown, Tennessee. DeAndre Hopkins, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now Shudak for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown from DeAndre Hopkins. Hey, buddy. So here's Shudak following the touchdown back out to kick off. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 23. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He completes it to Alave. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Two yards the loss, second and 12. You gotta figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away. He was playing the with Dad. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. <laughs> Working from the gun, it's Carr. And his throw is gonna be in. When did you tell me that? He Robin was wearing his arms one of the football, but he dropped it. Doing? And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, I've been in my him? head a lot. Yeah, really not right guilty? since what I blew do? coverage, but since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that yeah, answer. Cold blooded. Cold blooded. What did you do, buddy? And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Looks like another empty possession. Offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Saints punter now. As he punted away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards. He got excited. Fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line. Come here, buddy. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. He's the offense heading back uh, onto the field. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this uh, great play. game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hit that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, I don't know yet. They feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, so... he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get hungry. You get greedy in a good way. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Levis. Going to the right here and finding Burks. That helps the completion percentage, but not much. Oh, else. And now it's still totally playing Mega Man 3. Right, I'm not going to that down. down. There were plenty of guys who did. When they spotted wide receiver screen and they got to the football fast and blew the whole thing up, hey, Charlie, the same result the as we just saw usually happened. No game. Levis on third hey, down. The and a throw there going to be incomplete. Hey, Boy. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive yeah. backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Oh Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Let's take it at around the 40. 
Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come sure. up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Carr. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part catching the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch and a great job by our crew on the camera shot love when you see the grass or on the field turf those rubber pellets flying up great catch He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Might have to readjust it again. 35-16 and they're still... To throw his car. And that's going to be incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good by them. They took the what happened? Lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Now call after the incomplete pass brings him up second and ten. Oh! What? Look into three. Super is fired. That is fired by Michael Thomas. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. Good pick up there, a 22. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle of the quarterback. Dad's got Charlie. Hey, who's going Dad's got Charlie. I just need something. Dad's ready. got Charlie. So there, Watch nice this. first down. Drive keeps moving. Play action. Now it's Carr. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other here, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. I need to cut these. The line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And they'll run it from the gun with Miller. And he is going to be stopped cold no! by the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. That's tough one right there. He went right to the teeth of the blitz as the line of was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Did you think you stomp your foot? Your Call it now on third and goal. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. <laughs> so now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities Forget. am I going to have this close Woo! and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The Forget. clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. <laughs> the kick by Lutz is Woo! good. And that'll get the deficit back to 16. Oh, 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 so that maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. to kick it away. My head is we'll see a return here from the end zone. My head's not hurting anymore. Out 
come the Titans now. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They begin with Henry. Stiff armed him. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A big run there, 29 yards at a first. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yards. They keep it with Henry on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Complete. It's Henry. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 38-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. This offensive game Cut! is Cut! sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Levis now on first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Hawkins. He's got room to roll. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Titans. I said, ow, asshole. Brandon, remind me again. This is a rookie quarterback we're seeing? A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having What's trouble that? believing. Five touchdowns. <laughs> He's throwing What's that? five. What is that? Are you kidding me? Now What's shoot that? back for the extra What's point. Woohoo! Quit fighting that so hard. Lead up to 23 now. A drive there and just four plays. And it's finished off by no, the wait, touchdown no, from DeAndre Hopkins. Sit, sit. 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 Why? No, why? Hey, Charlie. Charlie, go get mama. Yeah. The score is 42 to 19. Back out is Shudak here as he'll send yeah, this one away. Then I really have to readjust shit. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's Miller. Oh, I think he's hit there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. And they'll send the slot in motion left. 
Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Credit the tackle for the loss to Harold Landry. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you come around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. The but route not, was not the route. Well, things you know, can go south what? in a hurry, and that's exactly I what we saw on that play with a loss. On second down, here's Miller. And Miller. he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Eight yards on the run, and that cuts this down to a third and about five. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Oh, by the way, look. Oh, who's that from? Now Carr. Well, this is Smith with the ground. Down the right, side, there he goes. <laughs> Touchdown, New Orleans. This is starting to become a little bit crazy. 42. Well, it's not too bad for the end of the third, I guess. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Carr will look to throw. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A run there on first down and a pretty good one at five yards, so make it second and five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second what? down, here's Levis. This throw incomplete nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, yeah. he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Levis. And that will be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but well, he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his leg. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. It's like they did that on purpose. Yeah, I know, right? Also, my dumb sales. Got distracted while I was Car going to lead head. the Saints up today. here first and 10 at their own 25 <laughs> yard line. They'll like try that. and start this drive in the air. A lot of it over the middle. And he's up into at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. 
They aren't going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Up the middle, it's Williams. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. 12 yards on third down as the drive rolls on. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Meanwhile, Carr's throw caught by Alave. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. From the 46, here's second down and two. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Carr completes it, and he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Carr now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him I make catches as we just saw it. him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going so Big credit to them, holding them under 200 today. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Not and he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Tennessee offense set to go again. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. The play over before it really 
really got started thanks to Pete Werner. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Now that's a nice play. <laughs> got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Fielded at about the 28. And an eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And they will take over first and 10. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. By the way. Good starting yeah, field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Shotgun now for Carr. To the right side and complete to Thomas. It'll be a game of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical. And you figure they only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself and play calling. Don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. A first down carry now for Miller. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that's pretty symptomatic about how things have gone here. That play is <laughs> shut down right from the start. And not going to give them a lot of confidence to help turn things around. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball down for as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So operating from Tennessee territory now, here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They make it look easy out there, another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Alave motioning to the left. He's going to handle it on the touch pass. And he'll get this down only to the 18. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They'll fake the jet sweep, and instead of give up the middle to Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. You don't have to take it to a post office. It's well, Lutz now to try the New Orleans field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. 
The kick by Lutz is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. Well, it's hard to put your finger on whether this is something to celebrate or something maybe the offense is embarrassed by, but that's now six field goals he's made in this game alone. Yeah, he's bailed him out quite a bit so far, but it's very comforting to know that you have a kicker that's got your back. across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The time is called looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look and we will take a short break. Where's the new UPS drop off? The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And that's good for a pickup on, of 10 down. yards, and that'll leave them with a second and oh. just a few inches left. Oh! It's right there, um, right there from Walgreens. Okay. Henry up the middle. A solid stiff arm. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Inside handoff, Henry. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Now that's a killer, because you think you've got it absolutely covered, and then he hot foots it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third, and then the tables turn. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. From the 41, here's second down and eight. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. It's complete, Burks. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's okay, made at the Saints 23. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. But normally you might say start running the football, you've got you the lead here in the fourth quarter, quarter but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback... I think you continue to do so. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, 
that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Levis sets up to throw here. This is caught. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. From the two now, second and goal. Levis looking to throw. Got a man and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Chigakakwo, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Hey. Time, Charlie. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown hey. pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. So then after the main field goal, Shudak back out to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 16 more on that one and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you try not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. 23 yards, the final tally. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, the back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Touchdown, Saints! Touchdown, Saints! Chris O'Reilly, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Saints have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. That's good on the extra point, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Again to Henry. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the oh time, my God, that's and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yard. So, Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Henry again on second down. And he gets it down to the 32. Four yards, the pick out, first down. <laughs> Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. A nice run there on first down as Henry uses his size to plow forward. Call it a pickup of seven. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Henry. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause of the action. A timeout here defensively. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they run first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Titans have opened up a three-score lead as they pull away here in the fourth. We know that the big guys won't give the credit, Brandon, but we also know that that touchdown belongs to them. Excellent job of clearing the way for their running back. Now shoot act for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive spanned five plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. So here's Shudak following the touchdown back out to kick off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Saints coming out now to take the field. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. 
And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to you lock know, in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection wide. there for a really nice gain. On first down, Carr. Over the middle to Smith. And he is down at the 48, a pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Okay, that might be too much. Defensively, 56 to 38. Frank. And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. A game there of 30 big ones. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage okay. of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defenses have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Got a man up and it's Thomas. All right, 56-2. Oh. Fifty-one touchdown grab, and the Saints are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Lutz with the extra point, and that'll make this now an eleven-point deficit. Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did, indeed. I think we're down to none. Oh my the God! The Titans' offense now—they worked their way back. Oh, he has 220 field. yards. And this one all over, but the shouting, you might say. Well, there's excessive. one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it strictly for pride. The Titans go victory formation as they take an knee. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. You want to put Bones on next? See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right? Just us against the world and get it done. An right, hour and 43 minutes. I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Now Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top oh gear God. you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. Charlie, look at that. 
Hi. Why did you live like that? I don't know. No penalties. Come on, man. 